Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and another kit bashing video. So what have I been up to? Well I recently realised that um, with my late war uh, German army for bolt action, the only sniper team that I had was the uh, was the metal Faustmeier team that came with the starter box. And as you know, if you've seen any of my videos, I'm not a big fan of of metal figures. I'd rather have all my um, all my my teams, my my sections built from plastic uh, and kit bashed in some way. Um, this is a, the the Faustmeier sniper that I've got. It's not not been modified. It's just a plain old sniper team. So I thought, right, I think I'm ready to remedy that and build me a plastic sniper team using various bits and pieces um, from different plastic boxes by Warlord Games. It would also allow me to um, enter this into this month's um, painting competition for my local bolt action group. So two birds, one stone, etc. Um, so what I'm gonna do is mesh with the camera um, so we can have a closer look and I can show you exactly how I went about building this thing. So there we go, so that's the that's the finished piece. As you'll see, what I've done is I've put both the sniper and the uh, his assistant on the same base. Uh, I do this quite a lot with um, with my bolt action teams. I, I'd rather have the figures look nice on nice bases rather than how they're going to perform in game. So if this puts me at a disadvantage, I don't care. It looks nice. So let's start off here. If you if you've seen the video for. Um, the build that I made of Major Koenig from, uh, from my Stalingrad Germans. I went with a different pose for that. I didn't want um, a standard shoot aim um, type of affair uh, for that guy. And I've, done, I've gone with the same with this guy. I didn't want him in a, a, a just a bog standard generic sniper pose. So what I've had is him looking through some binoculars. Maybe he's looking to relocate. Maybe he's stalking a target. But that's that's what I went with. Uh, he's clutching his, his sniper rifle, a bit more of that in a second. Then his assistant here has got a <laughs> German helmet on a stick as a bit of a, a bit of a lure, a bit of a distraction. That was just something I put in last minute. I wasn't really <laughs> I wasn't really sure I was gonna do that, but we'll get to that in a second. So the main dude, the main sniper. Now he's actually be, he's, he's based on, it's pretty much the same, the same body from the Grenadier kit that I made uh, Koenig from. Um, he, both of his arms are from the um, plastic US Marine box. So we've got the right arm holding the binoculars and the left arm, um, it should be holding a, a, a rifle. What I've done is I've used that arm to make it look as if he's, he's um, holding his sniper rifle at rest there. Uh, now the sniper rifle, the more astute amongst you will notice that's an American sniper rifle. Uh, <laughs> the reason for this, I was going through all my bits and pieces, my spare spare rifles, etc., and I couldn't find a German one. Um, so I used this, and after I painted this, what did I do? Go and do? I found a sprue with a German sniper rifle on, um, but there's no way I'm going back in to change that at this stage. He's found it or stole it or something. Either way, he likes his American sniper rifle. Um, the head is from the plastic SS uh, box, just going with a peaked cap there, and the equipment is just box stand equipment from the Grenadier box. Um, and so that is the main sniper. Very, very simple pose, but I think it it gives me a more a more sort of natural natural pose than just just aiming down the the, uh, the sights of a sniper rifle. I don't like that. It's just it's just something I don't like. So onto his assistant. Now his he's actually his the main part of his body is from the German Blitzkrieg box. Uh, the kneeling guy, and then his right arm where he's holding that that rifle you can see that there that's from the u.s marine box as well and the left arm is from the plastic grenadier box so when i was building this i thought i wanted the assistant to be doing something rather than just pointing so i came up with the idea of um of making him into like a decor or, or a lure or something so what i've done is that's just a cocktail stick cut down and painted and then the helmet is actually from the uh the plastic hannah mag 251 uh, box. It's supposed to be stowage you put on the side, but I thought, no, it looks like quite a good um, quite a good piece to use. So what I've done, I just used a, um, a pin vise to drill holes, some bullet holes into the helmet there. Um, and that went, went together quite well. But uh, paint, painting wise, yeah, nothing different from what I normally paint. So they've been uh, a base color of Vallejo German uh, field gray. I cracks earth shade wash and then just very very basic highlights 
Um, I keep it simple when I do paint, and I go over the top, so that's why they, they look quite simple, but as always, the, the, the highlights really set the miniature off, and then just the equipment painted as well. The base, yes, a bit over the top as normal. That's just my standard cork board, uh, balsa wood, uh, floorboards, grit. This, this base actually took me five minutes to make. <laughs> It's so, well, once you've got the hang of, uh, of, of your basing technique, your basing methodology, yeah, I knew, I knew in my head exactly how I wanted to look. So I just sourced all the pieces from my various bits, boxes and bags, sat down and built it. The, the windows were actually a last minute addition. I, I wasn't going to include any windows, but as you'll see, some broken glass in there. Again, that's just been uh, made using um, some bits of plastic from uh, an old blister. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we have it. That is the uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, that that is the old the, the the whole sniper team completed. Um, yeah, I I built it in a day. It it, it really didn't take that long. Uh, I think it it actually looks better than it actually has any right to be, considering I barely spent any time on it whatsoever. But another nice new addition to my late war um, German iron for bolt action. Um, and will certainly certainly do a job for me. Like what you know as well, I started painting um, the equipment properly. I, I don't like painting equipment, but I've got to admit, once it's, once it's painted properly, it looks so much better. I normally just paint it brown or grey and just leave it, but no, that is something I'm going to do moving forward is be painting the, the equipment the way it should be. Move away from my lazy habits. Um, but there we go. So that is my completed sniper team. This will take pride of place in my Bolt Action German Army. So, if you've got any comments or questions about this build or gaming in general, just leave them in the comments section below and I'll certainly respond to all comments and questions. In the description to the video as well, you will also find a link to our new Facebook group. Uh, feel free to come along, join, show us what you're working on, uh, what you're playing and get involved in a bit of gaming discussion. So, always a good place to, to, to hang out, I've found. You know, we're quite new, but yeah, we're having a good time. Um, but as always, thanks for watching. Uh, do take care. May your dice roll well, and I shall catch you all in the next video. So, bye bye for now.